for watching this video. Please do watch the previous video because I'll be using that as a reference in this video. In this video, we're going to discuss about methods, how to create them, how to call them, what are all the parameters, etc. So let's get started. Let's write a program in order to find which number is the greatest of two. So let's take int a equals 34 and int b equals let's say 45. So in order to check uh, which number is greater in these both numbers, what do we do? We generally write, uh, write the if else condition. If a is greater than b, then we print a or else oops or else what do we do we print b so this is what we generally do now let's say you have to find which number is greater in another set of numbers let's say one number is 234 and the other number is 567 so if you have to find which number is greater what do you do you create int c equals let's say it's 234 and int t equals 567 these are these are the numbers which we have to find and then what do we do we write the same if else condition here in order to check whether which number is greater or not so int c and int d so here it's c or else it is d so what are we doing here we are just repeating the code we are repeating this if else statement again and again for example if consider you have to find this for some 10 set of numbers you need to repeat the if else code again and again and again so that is going to be a very tedious task so here methods come into the play so in the previous video we've discussed a concept called as dry which means don't repeat yourself so that means that you shouldn't repeat your code again and again so for that we're using something called as methods so in our previous video we have checked uh, that car thing you know we've created some methods for the car like start stop and that gear what are all those those are all nothing but methods methods are like something we create when we know that that code is going to be uh, reused again and again for example if you check this part here the if else is used again and again so what we've done is we what we'll go, what we are going to do is we're going to create something called as a method for this if else see it is very simple if you have to make 10 chapatis you don't need 10 pans to make 10 chapatis you just need a single pan to make all those 10 chapatis so it is the same case with methods so you create a method and you create you you know inside that method if you write this code you can access that method again and again so let's check out how to create a method so this is the syntax of creating a method here the public is the access modifier so there are three things like public private and protected and in public uh, we can access the method uh, outside the class and regarding the start a static thing we'll discuss them in our later videos and here the int is the return type so if you use this int here you have it would return an integer variable so if you put void over here void is uh, something which doesn't return anything so if you have if you need not return anything you use the keyword void and then you write the method name the method name is something which is used to specify that method so we actually uh, give the method a name so that uh, when some other person is reading the code it would be very much easy for him to understand like what is going on and this int a and float b these are the parameters parameters can be anything like you can write it as int a int b whatever string or anything parameters nothing but the variables which are used the variables which are used inside this particular method uh, that is nothing but the parameters so let's check it on our intellij id
So let's create a method, right? So you could see this public static void main and the string array, this thing which we would write every time. So by looking at this public static void, uh, this is the way you create a method. So by this, we can understand that main is also a method, but we were not aware of this. So main is also a method which is having uh, having the void return type. So it doesn't return anything. And there is one more thing which I forgot to tell that is there must be only one public class and in that public class there will be one main method and from that main method on the code will start. Now I'll create a method which would uh, return the value of two which would return the value of the sum of two integers. So for that let's write static and the return type I want to take here is the int so int and then let the name of the method be sum so when we have taken the return type as int when we have taken some primitive data type as the return type we need to specify the return value so sum and then inside this we have two parameters int x comma int y so we have this over here now let's create a variable called sum int sum equals x plus y now here parameters are nothing but uh, these are those variables which we are gonna use in the methods nothing nothing else than that so you can create as many parameters as you want i can put int z or float z or string whatever and these are the variables which we are going to use in this particular method so int sum equals x plus y now we have to return the value since it is uh, int type so return sum now this is the method now this whole thing is the method now let's access this method let's call this method now say if i want to find the sum of 4 plus 3 because I'm super weak at, weak at math. Okay. So sum 4 comma 3. Now no, I need to print this out. Sum 4 comma 3. Now if you run this. See, you can see that it is showing 7 over here to showing the result. Now, if I have to say, if I have to find out the sum of uh, 67 and 98, if I run this, it is showing the answer as 165 over here. So, you might feel why are we creating all these methods see in the before case what we have done we need to uh, you know create those two integer variables and then we need to write this again sum equals we need to create this variable and write this variable uh, add these values and then we have to print this sum and then do it again and again so we have repeated the code a lot of times so if you look at this we haven't repeated anything we just created a method and we are using this particular method again and again so that is the beautiful thing about methods so we use this method when we find that that particular code is repeating a lot number of times so let's create another method uh, this time let's use the void return type okay so now static for example, now we are creating a method in order to find uh, whether the person is having the relevant age to vote or not. So the relevant age to vote is 18 years. So static void, void return type, it doesn't return anything. And let's name the method as vote. Okay, so, and this has only one parameter, which is X. Now we need to write the if statement here, if x is uh, if x is greater than 18 then 
print that you have you have the right to vote else print out that you don't have the right to vote so this is a method which we have created now let's call this method so, vote let's say if that person is having 12 years now let's print this out you don't have the right to vote let's say vote and let's say he is having 67 years he's a senior citizen let's consider that now if we print this out it is showing that you have the right to vote we are showing you don't have the right to vote here it is showing that you have the right to vote now i think you can understand the importance of methods and why we are using them and how easy it is making our works so hope you understood why methods are important and how how do you create them how do you call them etc you understood all of these things so thank you everyone for watching this video please do like share and subscribe to my channel we'll meet in the next one